back at Hilton Head. And this is Art Hedick, president of Family Circle, and not a bad hacker. The tournament has become a tennis tradition, the spring opener. But what does it mean to the magazine, Art? Well, I think it's helped uh, put Family Circle on the map. Uh, we are identified with new subjects these days, and tennis is one of them. Well, thank you, Art, and keep on hacking, Parker. Thank you. Gabriella Sabatini, the 14-year-old sensation warming up, will face Chris Everett Lloyd, the defending champion. She beat Madrado. Horvath was seated 14th. Zena Garrison was the fifth seed. Then Shriver, number four, and Manuela Maleva, the second seed. What a destruction job by this uh, number one junior player in the world. Chris Everett Lloyd, the Baltimore left-hander, Elise Bergen, then Pam Casale. Chris Everett Lloyd got a bye in the Ready. first round, then the Baltimore Ready. left hander, Elise Bergen, Pam Casale, Virginia Ruzic, 24 and 0 against Ruzic, and then this morning, the 15 year old German, Steffi Graf. Sabatini opening the match. Of course, the obvious question will be just how much does this youngster have left after playing two tough matches already today? Even the sea of adrenaline runs dry. You know who I think is nervous, Joanne? Mrs. Everett Lloyd, playing against the kid, because she used to put people through this ringer for years. Just why? 15 30. Because of Sabatini's rigorous day already, so the late start of the final by about 45 minutes to give her proper rest. In fact, even at that, this is most unusual to be playing quarterfinal, semifinal, and final all in one day. And immediately, Chris Everett Lloyd has a double break point. One thing you said about Chris, she might be nervous. It's true, she hasn't played Sabatini before, and she hasn't experienced this kind of topspin throughout the tournament. One breaker save by Sabatini. She'll be 15 next month. Chris definitely hasn't seen a backhand like this throughout the tournament. Have you? Flies long and Everett Lloyd breaks. We'll be back after these words from your local station. NS10 Blazer Chevrolet. Use of that along with $34,000 to the winner. Gabriella Sabatini already has earned $17,000, by far her biggest payday in tennis. Does that blazer have brass buttons? <laughs> right next to the wheels. Ow! Just wide. Nice change up slice by the kid. What Chris is trying to do in the first couple of games is make Gabby more tired than she already is because you notice she's working the ball around from corner to corner and making Gabby move a lot. Long, you saw the graphic on career prize money. Sabatini would match her young career total, or already has, and would double it with a win in this final. by Chris Deep.
again, 40-15. 40 Just to underline Joanne Russell's analysis of Chris Everett Lloyd's improved efforts to even get better than she's been. Stronger serve and attack more, volleying better. Second game and leads to love. Well, when I say nothing like this has happened in tennis before, we've had 14 year olds in finals. Tracy Austin at 14 was the youngest to ever win a professional tournament, but that was a very small event. This young woman has beaten three of the top 10 in one tournament, and that has never happened before. much more confident Chris Everett Lloyd. Watch her, she really puts her body behind that ball. Most of the time before this improved volley, she used to just place it carefully. And it always looked nice, but it never had any oomph behind it. Low 30. Just wide, 15-30 rep. It's a most difficult task for any of the top players to face Chris Everett Lloyd, but with a long day already for young Sabatini, in a way it seems unfortunate that she isn't at full speed or at least full energy level. Chris is moving her around. Gabriella, here's her beautiful top spin back in, and she really gets under that. Here she is again. She goes from low to high, and notice the extension of her arm and shoulder. Yeah, she's fought back from love 30. <laughs> Rare unforced error by the defending champion. have a little trouble on her overheads. And if you watch in the upcoming games, notice how she holds her hands very low and doesn't get her racket up to hit her overheads. She makes a lot of errors. <laughs> Big point for the kid here, just to get this point, just to get a game and then to be able to sit down and rest. into the semifinals. They beat Italy today in Prague, Czechoslovakia, thanks to the singles play. again for us. The Argentinians have had uh, some outstanding world-class men, but not that many women who have excelled in this game. No, you'd have to go back about 20 years to Norma Balon, who was a top 10 player. 
and of course that was in the amateur days of tennis at the queen of the clay. <laughs> Chrissy has only lost one match in nine family circle events. 41 and one, her match record here. <laughs> Andrea Yeager in 82 in the semifinals beat her. Good example of a contrasting styles. The nice compact swing of Chris Everett Lloyd on her back end, and the big wind up of Sabatini. It's very interesting. Chris does not make many errors on her backhand side, where Sabatini really goes for it, and she does make a few more. And here we have both of them. Notice Chris, short swing, compact fall through, and then big looping swing with a huge back swing on Sabatini. Good, like a line drive hitter versus the home run swinger. It's wide. Break point. The first of the match for Sabatini. Chance to pull even a two all. Whoops. Double fault for the game. It's two all. Remember, Chris Everett Lloyd in four matches has surrendered only a total of 11 games. No one has really challenged her for a set. She's breezed into the finals. And she does, but it's a little off today. About 30. Let's go back to that overhead. Here we have that very low take back. And then all of a sudden, she rises up in one motion and hits it. And she makes a lot of errors. And the thing is, I think it's because she's so tired today. If I played two hours and a half, I I'd be tired. And the first thing when you're tired that goes is your overhead, then your serve. A triple break point for Chris Everett Lloyd. Saved by Chris Everett Lloyd to earn the point and the lead. 3-2, up a break. Uh. 
were talking with Lee Jackson before the match, bud. She's the referee. There are numerous instances of players throughout tennis history playing two matches in a day because of weather conditions. But three, Lee said she had never heard of it. I said, what are the rules? She said, we would never ask a player to play more than two singles in a day. But she said, this is an extraordinary circumstance. It's up to the discretion of the players, the tournament officials, and me, the referee. And Gabriella wants to play. Obviously, it's nation, national television, and so there's no complaint. But she said, we just wouldn't do it in any other circumstance. So a most unusual day for an unusual tennis talent, Gabriella Sabatini. 40 love. Regardless of what happens, what she's done, as we look at John Lloyd worrying about Mama. a much more confident Chris Everett Lloyd than before. Watch Sabatini. She's just a little bit tired and she goes for too much on this backhand and it's just out. And who would think that the number two player in the world lacks confidence, but for a while Chris did. That's nine straight points that Chris has won. Do you remember Joanne when Chrissy played Tracy Austin, who was 14 at Wimbledon in 1977? She said, I could hardly walk out into the court. I was so nervous. 25 matches <laughs> total for Sabatini against the all-time winner. Let's see that again. The totals are so enormous for Chris Everett Lloyd and testimony to her stranglehold on the women's game until Martina came along a couple years ago, but nevertheless, 1,025 more than anyone's won. That's the female record. Jimmy Connors has won a few more matches for the men, but she has won more tournaments. She has won 134 tournaments, and the server has not won any as yet. <laughs> Sabatini Very is good. different from most top spinners. Baseline players usually loop the ball, goes down the middle. They don't really do anything with the ball. They don't use it as an offensive force, and that's what Gabriella does. straight years at least one grand slam for Chris Everett Lloyd the Australian in 84 keeping that streak alive Gabriella hits his back and with a lot of force, but it's too short. And if it's too short against Chris Everett Lloyd, you are sunk. Hmm. So Deuce at 2-4, the first set. Gabriella Sabatini against the champion, Chris Everett Lloyd. And it's really been a day, tennis day to remember for the 14-year-old server. to Sabatini. What's well, a crucial game, this seventh game. Chris with a chance to go up 5-2. If Sabatini can save it, then she's still in the set. Thank you. 
these games it seems like seventeen he's top spin is giving chris a little trouble on her back inside third do so the game it was interesting yesterday when we were chatting in the rain delay with chris he said you know if i had decided to have a family really early i'm almost old enough to be your mother a 16 year disparity Except when Kenny Rosewell was in his last days, there was nothing like that. And he was over 40. Oh! Ooh, that looked hey, if it might have bitten the line, did not. So a second break point for the champion Everett Lloyd. Turned professional at age 18 in 1972. Record crowds here. Jack Jones, the tournament director and promoter, so pleased with the response. It's one of the best run of all the tournaments in this country. what keeps us all interested of course we came in here people were disappointed Martina Navratilova had planned to play she felt she needed rest and did not play people said well we've got Chris but what else and then this story unfolds it's wide and Sabatini saves it was a struggle she had to fight off a couple of break points and we continue in this first set the championship of the 13th family circle cup 4-3, Everett Lloyd up. Edwards has won all of his fights for them as a lightweight by knockout. It's Melvin Paul. That to follow our coverage of this 13th final of the Family Circle Magazine Cup, Gabriella Sabatini. 14 years of age against the champion, 30-year-old Chris Everett Lloyd. 4-3, Chris up a break, opening set. New balls. <laughs> 